In this lesson, we'll discuss heat of vaporization and answer two questions based on it. The heat of vaporization is the amount of heat required per gram to boil a liquid to gas. Its units are usually written in joules per gram or calories per gram. Question 1 reads, in a sauna, 122 grams of water is converted to steam at 100 degrees Celsius. How many kilojoules of heat are needed to do this? In order to be successful with these types of problems, you'll need to know a constant. The constant is shown underneath. The heat of vaporization of water is, in order to convert one gram of water from liquid to gas, you need 2,260 joules. Now this conversion ratio can be written in two ways. We can write it as one gram of H2 at the top over 2,260 joules, or you can write it as 2,260 joules per one gram of water. Now just to give you an idea of how much one gram of water is, Pretend that we had a small cube that was one by one by one centimeters. That holds one milliliter, and one milliliter of water is equal to one gram of water. So with that being said, we have 122 grams. Here, we have one gram, and it requires this much joules. So what we'll do is take 122 grams and multiply it by this version of the conversion ratio, the one I'm hovering over. And the reason why we're using this is because the technique that I'm using is called dimensional analysis. By using this version, we actually get rid of the unit that we don't need. And the unit that we don't need is grams. So we're left with joules. Let's use our calculator. We have 122 times 2260 and we get 275,720 joules. Now remember, they want the answer in kilojoules, so I'll divide this by 1,000. That's how you go from joules to kilojoules. And we get, to three significant figures, 276. Notice that the first discarded number, the 7, is greater than 5, so this 5 goes up by 1. We have 276 kilojoules. In question number two, when steam from a pan of boiling water reaches a cool window, it condenses. How much heat in kilojoules is released when 25.0 grams of steam condenses at 100 degrees Celsius? So this time, we're going from gas to liquid. We'll use the exact same conversion ratio as before, and we'll write down 25.0 grams times, once again, we'll use this version, because that cancels out the gram unit. One gram of H2O. Remember, this technique is called dimensional analysis. You could also do this using proportions as well. This and this cancel out. Let's use our calculator again. 25 times 2260. Notice that we have three significant figures here. That's an exact number. Any conversion ratio, namely a constant, is considered generally an exact value. So we don't take into account its amount of significant figures. So to three significant figures, and in scientific notation, I'll write this as 5.65 times 10 to the power of four. They want it in kilojoules, this is in joules. So I'll divide this by 1,000. Let's do that. Divide by 1,000, and we get 5.6.5. Five, six, decimal five. five six decimal five kilojoules. And there you have it, two examples related to heat of vaporization.